Today I'd like to share with you how I made a sweet winter shrine with products from genusdesigns.net. Begin by tracing the front, back, and side pieces onto decorative scrapbook paper. I'm using a sheet from Tim Holtz's 12-inch wallflower pad, which I love, but feel free to use whatever you like. Just remember to factor in how the tabs fit together so that the elements are entirely covered. You can always trim the pieces down. It's far more difficult to fill in the gaps. Next, glue the sides and bottom to the back of the shrine. I accidentally bent one of my little tabs, causing the board to fray, making it difficult to fit in the groove. Rather than force it in, it is much easier to just shave or sand a little off the tab so that it fits comfortably. Affix the front piece into place. Finally, add the top. Clean up any excess glue and allow to dry. I've applied a coat of white acrylic paint to my piece and cut all of the pieces that I traced earlier. Adhere the front and back pieces to your shrine. I'm using Eileen's tacky glue and spreading it into a thin layer with an old plastic card. Make sure the glue reaches all the way to the edge. Use the same process for the back. If you're more comfortable with another adhesive, by all means, do what you enjoy and are most comfortable with. When the glue has dried, trim or sand off any excess edges. apply the sides and when they're ready clean those edges up too. chipboard snowflakes by applying a layer of white acrylic paint. Once dry, add a coat of white glue and sprinkle some glitter on top. I prefer translucent or clear glitter to solid white, but the choice is up to you. On top of that, I add just a hint of pale blue ultra fine glitter. For the roof, apply some glue and begin layering cardstock doily set intricates.
trim any excess and touch up any parts that need a little more texture. coat with some white acrylic paint. If you like, you can apply a wash to your entire piece. This is entirely up to you. Inside the shrine, give a light wash of water, then slosh some color with some very thin paint in a lovely shade of sky blue. Once dry, add a layer of glue and then sprinkle some glitter inside and shake it around to get it in all those crevices. Next, add some glitter to the outside edges and roof of your shrine. Apply a healthy layer of moss to the inside bottom of the shrine. You may want to add a small piece of foam first, then glue and more glitter. I'm adding bottle brush trees to my little scene. One of my trees is too fat to fit comfortably in the space, so I'm cutting the back flat. Using a bit of hot glue on the back of the tree will hold it in place. Now to add those glittered snowflakes. A few last glittery touches and you've got yourself a pretty winter wonderland.